a beautiful evening to us all around the world. It's an evening of renewed covenant, and we are trusting God to grant us a new covenant, even as we walk with Him daily and daily. I'll be singing a simple song that says, Shunwa yi bata edalo oluwa reke tosh kamba katanisha Shunwa yi bata oluwa Come on, join me sing Shunwa yi bata oluwa Shunwa yi bata oluwa Watu manje Watu manje if you are watching, John sing, Every covenant that exalted itself against the names of the Lord in our life, today we pray for a divine transformation. We pray for renewal. To Bible says, if the old covenant was not faulty, say, there would be a need for a new covenant. And so we are praying to God that He will restore us today. Oh, what
The God that granted Jabez a visitation will grant us visitation. We must hold on to God even when it seems like the storm is not yet over. Or when it looks like the storm is not going to be over. We must keep our anchor feet on God. And I pray today that the Lord will carry us through in the mighty name of Jesus. Even as we enjoy the rest of the program, I pray God blesses shall continue to abide with us. And grant us transformation and in the world in the name of Jesus, amen. amen. Hallelujah, Kai Jesus. Can you just worship Jesus with me this evening? Can you worship Jesus with me? Can you worship our blessed Redeemer with me? Oh, is God mighty, glorious, the Lord mighty in battle? Can you just give God the glory? Oh, Jesus has been great to us, the Lord has been wonderful to us. We have passed through a lot, but the Lord has kept us. Hey, let every living thing, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. You can praise God today is because you are alive. Those that are dead, they can do nothing. Can you say, Lord Jesus, I thank you, Lord, for the gift of life. I thank you, Lord, for the gift, gift of life. Can you just worship God? Can you worship God? Can you worship God with me? The Lord is great. The Lord is an excellent God. Is a marvelous God. He has been good to us. He has been good to our family. He has been good to our in our working place. He has been good in our ministries. Let's begin to worship God. Say, Lord Jesus, I worship you for the month of November. I give you glory for the month of November. Lord, I give you honor. Basatados, replano, shadeka, matos, elibratos. Can you worship God with me this evening? Lord, we worship you. Lord, we adore your holy name for that great ministration. Without the Holy Spirit, we can do nothing. We are nothing without the Holy Spirit. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 14, it's going, it said it's going to teach us all things. It's going to teach us all things. No wonder God said in Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3, he said, I pray, he said, ask and I will show you the secret things that you do not know. He said, call upon me and I will show you the secret things that you do not know. Oh, that is the work of the Holy Spirit. Let us worship God together this month of November for the great things the Lord has done in our life. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we adore you. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy to be praised. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, I thank you, blessed Redeemer. For in Jesus' name have we prayed. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Lord, we pray as we go through your word tonight. We pray that you speak your word to our heart. You open the, the, our heart. You open our heart and impart your word into our heart. And it will do good in our life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, wonderful Lord. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. For in Jesus' name have we prayed. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We thank God for the month of November. The Lord has been so good to us, especially in this ministry. The Lord has been helping us. Uh, the topic we are going to be treating today is a renewed covenant. A renewed covenant. 
and we're going to be reading from the book of second kings chapter 23 verse 3 second kings chapter 23 verse 3 i'm going to take i'm going to read the niv version the king james version is there but i'm going to read from the niv version the king stood by the pillar and renewed the covenant in the presence of the Lord. The fellow to follow the Lord and keep his commands, regulations, and decrees with all his heart and all his soul. Thus, confirming the words of the covenant written in the book, then all the people pledged themselves to the covenant. If you're going to take the King James Version, it says the king stood by a pillar and made a covenant before the Lord to walk after the Lord and to keep his commandments and his testimonies and his statutes with all their heart and all their soul to perform the words of the covenant that were written in this book and all the people stood to the covenant. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. A renewed covenant. A renewed covenant. King Josiah, he brought the people of Judah and Jerusalem together to renew the covenant their forefathers made with God. King Josiah did that. He brought them together. But why, why is he going to bring them together? Why is he clamoring for a renewed covenant? When we are saying renewed, it shows that the covenant has been there before. But making it new <clears throat> again. Making the covenant new again. So why is King Josiah no, renewing this renewing this covenant why is he doing that the reason this main reason and very simple reason for doing that is that their forefathers and his generation and his own present generation has delayed from the covenant their forefathers made with God that is just it for him to call the people together let us renew our covenant with God it shows that they have delayed from the former from the initial covenant with God hallelujah amen and I want you to note something this evening when man when a man or a group of people refuses to maintain their covenant with God such people may encounter different things you know if you have a covenant with God you have made a covenant with God and you refuse to go along with the covenant people will begin to encounter a lot of things you will begin to encounter a pulling down you may begin to encounter a knocking down you may begin to encounter a tearing down you may begin to encounter stagnancy you will, you will you can encounter a lot of things you can encounter unfruitfulness you can encounter poverty you can encounter starvation you can encounter spiritual retardation a lot of things if you refuse to maintain the covenant you are with God the children of Israel the children of Judah, the children of Jerusalem, they, dis, they have delayed from the covenant their forefathers made with God. So King Josiah is bringing them together. He is bringing them together. He wants them to renew that covenant with God. He wants them to come together and say, Lord, we have renewed our covenant so that the God, uh, their God can start working with them again. Because when you begin to experience all these things that you know, draw down, it shows that the Lord is not working with you again. Meaning, there must be a renewed covenant. Now, remember this. Remember, I want you to remember this, that the time you gave your life to Christ, that, that present time you gave your life to Now, if you are listening to me and you have not given your life to Christ, you are still coming, that, coming back to that. But 
when you gave your life to Christ you signed into a new covenant the day you gave your life to Christ you signed into a new covenant and that covenant you signed sign into is you signed into that covenant in our Lord Jesus Christ you signed that covenant through our Lord Jesus Christ because our Lord Jesus has brought the new covenant Jesus is the carrier of the new covenant our Lord Jesus is the carrier of the new so the day you gave your life to Christ you signed a new covenant in Christ Jesus let us let us start the scripture let us look at Hebrews chapter 8 verse 12 to 11 Hebrews chapter 8 verse 10 sorry verse 10 verse 10 to 11 for this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days said the Lord I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts and I will be to them a God and they shall be to me a people and they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother saying know the Lord for all shall know me from the least to the greatest for I will be merciful to their unrighteous to their unrighteousness and their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more hallelujah now if you if you look at what we have read the Lord said a covenant is coming this covenant will be written in our heart and in, in our mind this covenant is coming and who is bringing with the carrier of this covenant is our Lord Jesus so he said this new covenant is coming now let's listen to what Jesus said in Mark chapter 12 verse 30 to 31 Do you know what he said he said this is the new the, the, the greatest covenant that I'm giving to you he said love your God with all your heart with all your soul with all your mind and with all your strength and he said in 31 this is the second and the second is it he said love your neighbor as yourself he said there is no covenant greater than this so those are the two covenant the lord has given to us those are the two covenant the lord has given to us he has given us number one love the lord your god the second one he has said, he said love your neighbor love your neighbor hallelujah so this is the, the, the two come the two laws the lord jesus has given to us now let's analyze these two laws very well when you love your god when you love your the lord your god with all your heart with all your soul with all your mind and with all your strength number one you will not go after other gods you will not seek other powers you will not seek help from other gods you will stay put even if you are you have been asking something from the lord and he has not done it you will stay put to the lord let us look at our these three hebrews in daniel chapter 3 verse 17 these three hebrews they were there and they said come and bow to this golden image they said they are not going to bow and they said they're going to throw them into the burning furnace they said in that 17 daniel chapter 3 verse 17 he said if you trust into the burning furnace, you say our God is able to save us from the fire, from, from this burning furnace, and He's going to save us. If you see that, you see, and He's going to save us. They are sure about it. They believe in that God. They know if the, the, the God that is going to save them. And they now proceed. They said, even if He did not save us, we are not going to bow down for your God, for your golden image it shows that even if he's not doing it if he's not helping them they are still going to trust him now you have been asking God for one or two things and he has, he has not answered yet are you still trusting God are you not seeking help from other places are you not going about from one place to the other to get help the help that is just for a while there's nothing the devil is going to give to you that is going to last hallelujah it is only god that can give you things that will last 
So I am telling you today, if you are listening to me, if you love the Lord your God, you will step up. Do you know what Romans chapter 8 verse 35 said, said to us? He said, who shall separate me from the love of Christ? Is it trouble? Is it famine? Is it persecution? Is it nakedness? Is it danger? Is it, is it just name them. What is going to separate you from the love of Christ? So if you love the Lord your God, according to that, 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 that um, uh, uh, what we have said in Mark chapter 12, that the first commandment is that love the Lord your God. Are you loving the Lord your God with your mind, with your soul, with your, uh, uh, with your mind, with your soul, with your heart, and with your strength? What are you doing for the Lord? Are you doing what concerns the Lord? Are you walking with the Lord with, with the way you are supposed to walk with the Lord? Are you doing things that you are supposed to do for the Lord? Are you preaching the way God wants you to preach? In your local churches, what are you doing for the Lord? Are you being given assignment and you are running away from that assignment? Are you staying put to the work of the Lord? If you love the Lord your God, you will do His will. You will do His work. Are you following His commandment? And listen to me. And the second one, he said, the second one said, love your neighbor as yourself. If you love your neighbor, you will not think evil about your neighbor. You will not convert your neighbor's material. You will not kill your neighbor. You will not steal from your neighbor. If you truly love your neighbor, you will, you will, you, you will take things that is about your neighbor very important. Can you kill yourself? He said, love your neighbor as yourself. So if you cannot kill yourself, then you should not be thinking of killing your neighbor. You should not be thinking of taking your neighbor, using your neighbor for rituals. You need to love God. You need to love your neighbor. That is what God is telling us. So listen to me. If you have not been going through, if you, are not, if you have not been walking through these two commandments, then you have work to do. Then you need to renew your covenant in Christ Jesus. Because if you don't renew that covenant, those things that are happening to you, you will think, why is this thing happening to me? It is just because you need to renew your covenant in Christ Jesus. If you have not yet given your life to Christ, you need to sign that new covenant. But if you have given your life to Christ and you have derailed from that covenant, you have not loved your God, you have not loved your neighbor as yourself, then I'm telling you today, you need to renew your covenant in Christ Jesus. Can you bow down your head anywhere you are? You know you have not been following these two laws given to us in Mark chapter 12 verse 30 to 31. You have not loved your God the way you are supposed to love your God. You have not loved your neighbor as yourself. You have not been loving your neighbor as yourself. You need to bow down your head and say, Lord, I renew my covenant with you. I give you my heart. I give you my soul. Have them. I am ready to do your will today. Can you begin to pray? Can you begin to tell the Lord? Say, Lord, I renew my covenant in Christ Jesus today. I have not been walking the way I'm supposed to walk. I have not been going by your will. I have not been doing your will. Lord Jesus, I renew my covenant with you today. We are begin to say it. Begin to say it. Say, Lord Jesus, I renew my covenant with you today. I renew my covenant with you today. For you that you have not given your life to Christ, begin to say it. Say, Lord, I'll give I give my life to you today. I sign a new covenant to you in the mighty name. I begin to say, say, Lord, I, I, I confess all my sin. I confess it to you. I say, Lord, I am a sinner. Take me, have me, wash away my sin and give me a new life. Let me give me a new covenant in you. Can you begin to pray? For all, for the people that you are renewing your covenant today. Say, Lord Jesus, I renew my covenant in you. I will not go back into sin anymore. In the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus as, as you are doing that today the Lord will bless you and I pray for you you will not go into sin anymore you will not venture into sin anymore your life will receive a supernatural turnaround in the mighty name of Jesus as you go in this month of November yes as you go in this month of the November the Lord will go with you this month of November you will receive a testimony you will receive a testimony 
that will change your life that people will begin to share that testimony with you i pray for you as you go in this month of november receive power for exploits in the name of jesus as you go in this month of november receive power for exploit as you go in this month of november receive power for exploit in the name of jesus it shall it is going to be well with you in this month of november things will change for you for good you are looking for help you have been seeking the lord for help help will locate you today in the name of jesus in this month of november help will locate you help will locate you help from above will locate you in the name of jesus you don't have power of your own but it's only god that can help you i pray i pray for help for you today you will receive help in this month of november the help that will change your life that will change your life for god you will receive that help in this month of november in the name of jesus i pray for those seeking for the fruit of the womb as you go in this month of november this month of november is your month in the name of jesus receive your miracle in the name of jesus in this month of november receive your miracle in the name of jesus in the next nine months you have testimony to share in the name of jesus i pray for you that you are saved he sent his word and he healed them i pray for you receive your healing today in the name of jesus that sickness you see today you shall see them no more in the name of jesus that sickness you see today you shall see them feed them no more in the name of jesus for those that are pregnant in the name of jesus oh the lord will uphold you with strength you will not encounter any form of complication in the name of jesus you will not encounter any form of complication in the name of jesus your time will be your time hey the vision is for an appointed time you will not give back before your date that your date will be your date in the name of jesus that day that heaven has recorded for you that you are going to give back in peace in 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 in, 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 in good strength in, in good in, in, in christ jesus in the power that is in the in, in christ jesus that power you need to deliver simply receive it today in the name of jesus you will not in, you will not be involved in any form of complication in the mighty name of jesus the lord will renew your strength in the name of jesus for every crumbling ministry the lord will lift your ministry up in this month of november in the name of jesus for those that are seeking for god for new job for new opportunities new opportunities will locate you in the name of jesus new opportunities will locate you in this month of november new opportunities will locate you in the mighty name of jesus that contract you have been looking forward to get receive it right now in this month of november in the name of jesus your business will begin to receive a supernatural turnaround in the name of jesus that your business that has been that 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 been struggling to stand the business will stand right now in the name of jesus you will be known all over the world you will you will be known all over the world the power of the lord jesus will rest upon your business and you will go you the lord will enlarge your coast in the month of november in the name of jesus the lord will enlarge your coast in the month of november in the mighty name of jesus receive power receive strength in this month of november in the name of jesus and so shall it be in the mighty name of jesus for in jesus name have we prayed amen amen in jesus name we thank god for today we thank god for the month of november it is god that has helped helped us through in this month of november and december is going to be great because i'm going to be bringing somebody special in the month of december oh when you see this person you will know that the person is special oh and i know you're going to enjoy that ministration also she's a she's a powerful minister of god and when i when you ask when you see her you will know that your god is really using her to the glory of god in the mighty name of jesus by the grace of god in the month of december we shall meet in peace and in sound mind in the mighty name of jesus you remain blessed and stay blessed in the name of jesus hallelujah amen